Yeah, hold it. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. This is Maria and Melo again. Well, I have my spinach. You know the spinach that I've been showing you all this time. There it is, the spinach. Well, what I did this morning, I decided to cook it, but while cutting it up and cook it, I decided I'm going to just show you what I did. Well, to make my spinach, everyone do it differently, you know? So what I did, I cut up a piece of red pepper. I could use red, yellow, green, any one. But I have just the red one right now. I take some of my white onions and I chop it up. I take some of the red onions and I chop it up in small little bits. I use a little of my um, garlic and I cut everything up. So right now it's already here on the stove. You can come over here. Um, brother show it to them. So what I did I put some olive oil virgin olive oil in the pot with all my stuff and Right there now. I just started to brown it down, you know So while it's browning down I could put a little more olive oil while it's browning down. I decide to just um You know why not show it to you all what I'm doing. So this is it right here So right now, this is what I did I chopped it up very, very fine. Can you see over here? Put it to me, yeah. So what I did, I take it and I do like this, and I, it was already washed, rinsed, drained off, and I just cut it up in small bits. Some people will cook it the same way, but really and truly, I don't. You don't have to stay so close to me now. You can go further until I'm ready to call it. Thank you. So this is how I cut it up. And right now the onions are really browning with this, you know, onion, scallion, whatever. I don't have any scallion right now. So this is right there and it's been browning down to save time. How are you? Hello, everyone. This is Maria again. <laughs> Maria the cook who is not a cook. Anyway, so while that's browning down, let me just quickly tell you. You can tell me when the minutes, how much minutes I reach, okay? Um, what I did, I have some pita bread, there it is, tandan or flat bread, and what I'm going to do with the flat bread, I'm going to just cut it in half, and later on I'm going to put it and I'm going to warm it up into, see, into my George Foreman grill. This is how I put it, and I'll just warm it up in my George Foreman grill, but I'm not really ready, ready for it right at this moment, so in between I'll let you know when I reach to it. All right, so right now, there's my onion, my garlic, my red pepper, and now I'm gonna take my spinach that I got outside from our garden. Every time I make sure I use up the spinach. Yesterday I had some friends come and stop by and I gave them a lot of spinach, and you don't have to so stay so close now. An apricot, and Man, they were so happy. We gave them about seven or eight apricot, some to send for my in-laws, my, my in-laws, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-laws, and all of them, and some for the stranger, also for those friends also. So this is what I'm going to do. At the meantime, to save time, come take a let them show how it is, see? And all I do is just turn it down, and I'm gonna just cook it for a couple of minutes. But instead of having you sit here all this time to watch it, I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna put a little butter into it. See, I like my smart balanced butter. See, there it is. Very good butter. Very good butter. This, the butter says empty cholesterol level already in normal range. And you know, it's very, very good, non-GMO. 60% less fat, zero trans fat, vitamin D, gluten free, and it tastes very, very good. So, I hope all what they say is there. So to save time, right at this moment, I'm gonna cover it up, and then I'm gonna leave it for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna cover it up, leave it for a couple of minutes, and I'll be right back, okay? All righty, thank you. I'm gonna pause it. I think this is the pause. 